Previously on Lion Moms. I've sort of been getting the feeling that I'm being followed. Why didn't you say something? I never actually saw the guy. It's always been a feeling, you know, noises outside the flat. Hi, I'm... You? She's just a selfish woman who's playing favourites on who she should bestow her knowledge upon. I mean, if she's really kind, nice and everything, she will share what she knows about this beginning of them test with the rest of us newbies, right? Run. <gasps> Hi, I'm Chilean. Ma'am, I appreciate your consideration for my circumstances. But a good soldier will never desert his squad when the going gets tough. Major, I just don't want you to get into trouble with There won't be any trouble, ma'am. This is the official cease and desist letter to Rani Muslim. I'll see you in court. <gasps> Sam! Hey! Hey, Rani! Hey! I've been blowing kisses since the day began Quietly across the room to you they swam You had no idea of my little wing charms Floating round your head until the sun went down I've been blowing kisses since the day began I've been blowing kisses like a fool Do I look like a relief teacher to you? Where's Mrs. Chan? I don't know who has been teaching you manners, but what are you supposed to do when a teacher steps into class? Class 10. Good morning, Miss. Miss Sim. Miss Cheryl Sim. Miss Sim. I'm going to be your new form teacher. What about Mrs. Chan? She's gone to populate the world with more of you. We're going to have so much fun. I was thinking, since Charleston is going to be like second home to our children, you know, they are going to be there for the next five years, we should really get involved in the PTA. Yeah, but our kids are only in P1. Isn't it a bit early? But we are going to be facing the new PSLE gen. It's integral that we get involved in the PTA so that our issues get hurt. P1 parents should have a voice in the PTA, but... It must be somebody we can trust. Somebody who can be our cable to the teachers and principal. Yeah, I guess that's important. I mean, since Mrs. Chan is going to be on maternity leave... And who knows who's going to be the next form teacher? Mrs. Chan was so good for Ada. See? Yet another reason to get involved. Um, the meeting's tomorrow. Can you make it? Yeah, why don't you come pick me up and we'll go together? <sighs> gotta go. I gotta find a way to get my psychotically teenage client to buy something. <laughs> okay, bye. Trust me, it's TD4. Really? This look? You'll slay it at your next party. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mommy, this should be my new aesthetic. You want all this? Of course. We'll take them all. Inta was so right about you. Incidentally, what is TV for? It's to die for. Hi, Mr. Ming. Ah, thank you very much for coming to meet me on such a short notice. So, how can I help you? I know that you have started a new firm. I'm not very happy with how Robert and Darren are handling my case. So, I'm looking for someone to replace them. Someone uh, young and uh, hungry. Well, Mr. Ming, you know I can't take you on as client. I think... It's okay. You're not poaching me. I'm coming over to you. So, what do we have here? Hello, Mr. Ming. Dorani, I hope that this is just a social lunch, not a business one. I am having problems with my lawyers. They don't seem to think I'm an important client anymore. So Durani here is helping me uh, and giving me some tips on how to make them uh, more responsive to my needs. I see. You can tell me more about your concerns in private. Do call me. Sure. So, that's your problem solved then? My problem is solved only when you decide to take on the case. Why? Sito Logistics is good enough for you, but I'm not. muffins and cake. A little thank you to all for being supportive for my recent term as PTA president. Unlike tuition and enrichment, muffins and cake are best outsourced. Nah, for you. Just a little something from Susu Cray to show you how grateful I am for everything you've done. Thank you. Anyway, Che, seriously, you're not quitting, right? Just one more year. I'm afraid I won't be the PTA president for this year. But people don't really like change. I mean, yes, we can, but why should we? It's time for new blood. Mummies with energy and passionate enthusiasm. And I think it's also important to have someone who can represent the younger students of the school. The next generation, as it were. I think maybe I should run for PTA president. Jennifer, perhaps? Me? No, I was just going to be a volunteer. Plus, I got a new job and... Must be hard, huh? Selling people those things you cannot afford anymore. Anyone can be PTA president. Oh, I'm... Uh, Chin Yan, the PTA programs, they really focus on gifted kids. But there's not much support for those with academic challenges. <laughs> Got remedial classes, what? Anyway, this is Charleston and Jennifer. Everyone is academically strong. Otherwise, they won't be here. Looks like something for the next PTA president to look into. So if Chilean isn't continuing, who's going to be PTA president? Well, from what I heard, Mrs. Long, she's thinking about running. Um, she's the mother of the twins, Jared and Jerome. The terrible twins? Aldous is also thinking about being a candidate. His daughter Mona's a dragon. Mona's probably forced him to run. But their parents do P3 and P4 kids though. They're not going to care about us and our problems. Oh, I just found out today, the PTA president also sits on a school board. Sounds like you want to run. Between Sito's work and deciding on what to do with Robert's cease and desist letter, I don't think I can manage. 
Robert is really taking this serious, eh? I mean, a cease and desist letter? Nastiness is how we show our affection in the legal profession. You know what? The letter doesn't bother me, but how threatened he feels that I need to figure out. Well, it's not your fault that the clients come to you. You're good. I, I know that. <laughs> you know, a part of me just want to tell him to bring it on, but by myself, I don't think I should take him on. <sighs> Running for PTA sounds like it would be so much easier. I mean, I was looking at the leaflets, and the PTA really only focuses on programs for the gifted. There's not many programs out there for people like Ada who are struggling. Just remedial. Well, elite schools like Charleston, I guess they assume parents like us will chip in. Maybe I should run for PTA president. I, I, I mean, like you said, P1 kids need a voice. I mean, kids like Ada, who can't even spell orange, they need a voice. I think that's a great idea. Access to all the teachers in school, red telephone to the big P, power to ensure that our child is supported in school, school board access. Jennifer Tan for PTA president. I second that. I third that. <laughs> Nabila was waiting for you at dinner. She wanted to tell you all about her new teacher. You got my message, right? About being late? Yeah, I didn't know you were going to be this late. Dinner's in the fridge. Sorry, sayang. I'm the co-lead of this project, so if anything were to crop up, I have to be there. Anyway, great news. The buy-in for our white paper is increasing. More top brass asking for briefings and some of them even want to get involved. So, not much longer on the project then? The deadline will be in a month's time. Sayang, I... Sayang, do you remember how my lecturer thought that my thesis was a half-baked idea when I submitted it? Now, they're thinking of publishing it in a think tank journal. Mm -hmm. Colonel Hussein thinks that this is helpful for a proposal. What's Colonel Hussein got to do with this project? We are co -leads. And you didn't think to tell me this? It's not as if she's my boss, Sayang. So, every night, when you came home late, you were with her? Look, I didn't want to tell you that she's on this project. Because this is exactly how you react each and every time. Sayang, this is how any good wife would react when they find out that their husband is working with such a woman. A good wife would be happy to know that her husband is working on a high-profile project to improve on his career. And a good wife would want to hear about her husband's day, not find fault with him. When you listen, Sayang! You can hear it, is it When you listen, you can feel it And you want to let it Sushila, how many times have I told you? Separate the laundry. I didn't buy this. Hey! That's my house! What's all that noise? What's going on? Stop! Oh. 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 
sorry. Being your neighbor is such a health hazard. Who asked you to step out of your house just as I was about to catch my stalker? I will take the perfume any day over this. <sighs> nice guy. And my mom's. He stays over when I have to go for classes. Your stalker, he looked like a delivery guy. Did you see him? Not really. But you do seem like the type to have an overactive imagination. I better go back to Sushila. Good night. It's fine. You can keep it. A rich PTA is a strong PTA. We can't do much if we don't have money. So, improving Charleston PTA's coffers will be my priority. I intend to monetize Charleston's elite school status as much as possible. Charleston hoodies, Charleston t-shirts, Charleston caps, Charleston socks. Charleston should be inclusive of all students, regardless of their abilities, backgrounds and aspirations. It should support every child's needs according to them. I see Charleston for all as PTA president. Charleston for all? That's your slogan, ah? Well, it's not my slogan exactly. What about make Charleston great again? We can only be great when we're together. <sighs> I think we just need to know more about what's on your mind, Jennifer. Specifics about what it is that you will improve? A full manifesto will be issued in time. <laughs> A very detailed manifesto. Candidates, parents, your attention, please. Madam City, our very able PTA liaison has been transferred. So, I'd like to quickly introduce everyone to her replacement. This is Miss Cheryl Sim. She's been teaching in Charleston for the last five years. And this year, she's the form teacher for P1 Alpha. Hi, everybody. Miss Sim? Miss Sim? Hi. I just wanted to talk to you about my daughter, Hilary. Hilary Lien. Ah, oh, yes. I've been briefed on your daughter already. Hearing aid, am I right? Yes. And it's important that the FMI... On at all times as per MOE guidelines. I know. Mrs Chan has already briefed me on that as well. Great. Thank you for this little chat. What do we have here? Hip Prefect Winston Lian. Yes, ma'am. I caught her littering. No, but I accidentally dropped it. But I saw it with my own eyes. Take down her name. Make sure she doesn't go for recess. Yes, ma'am. I think I really resonated with some of the parents back there. You did. There was definite interest. But now you have to build a support base, you know, find other parents who are facing the same challenges as you are. The silent majority. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, which parent is going to admit that the child is ungifted? Well, maybe the way to find the right parents to talk to is to find the right kids. Sweetie, can you point out the other children that go for remedial? Why Lang can't count past ten, Rene is always forgetting things, Grace can't even spell tree, Ethan... He can't write his S properly. Vote for me. Vote for Jennifer Tan. A Charleston for all. Just, just take a look, please. Vote for Jennifer Tan. A Charleston for all. 
，我会支持你的，我一定会支持你的，谢谢你，谢谢，谢谢。Jennifer, I heard you're running for PTA president. My daughter has ADHD. I'm so glad someone is looking for needs. I'm with you. The parents are feeling left out because everyone's focusing on the bright kids. I think I actually have a shot at this. Now we need collaterals so people can show their support and get more people on your side. I'm thinking button badges, leaflets, posters, and balloons. Creative and simple. Something that highlights the cause and not me. Easy and unobtrusive. Like a ribbon. An orange ribbon. Today we're going to start with spelling. Please take out your exercise books. First word, hippopotamus. Nishin, I can't hear you. Hmm? Hmm. I wonder why. Next, thunder. This happened for the whole lesson. Maybe missing just doesn't know how to use the FM mic. I'm missing Miss Harry's uniform teacher. She's evil. Winston Lian. That's not an acceptable way to describe a teacher. Sorry, Mummy. She's not a nice teacher. And how do you know? She used to teach one of the P5 classes last year. The kids used to call her Cheryl the Devil. Winston. I'm just telling you what the kids said. They say she's a mean teacher. When one person makes a mistake, everyone else gets punished. What was it they called it, Margaret? Recess club. That's her favorite punishment, apparently. Making kids stay back during recess, even if they want to go to the toilet. Well, it sounds like she's just very strict. Not in itself a bad thing. I should have demonstrated to her how to use the mic. I'll do that on Monday, okay? You're early, Daddy? Sorry, Sayang. Daddy's been busy at work. But I will try to come home early as often as I can. How's the new teacher? I met her in school for the PTA nominations. Jen is running for president. She seems pleasant enough. Something important? I'll deal with this later. Nabila, after dinner, how about I'll check on your homework and you can tell me more about your new teacher. A bigger pack, but cheaper. Thanks. You didn't have to. Um, about this stalker, do you think he's specifically interested in just you or females in general? Well, since he's a figment of my imagination, I'll have to get back to you on that. Well, it occurred to me, if this stalker is for real and if he's perving at you, he might perv at my daughter. Sushila? Where are you going? 
to study with my friends, Sume, Alice and Kartini. We are rising science together. It's just downstairs at the Kopiti, I'm there. Chill out. Okay. Only after you change out of that top. It looks ridiculous when you're just going to study. And why do you have so much of makeup on? Who died and made you the fashion police? Change or study at home. Just because you don't have a life doesn't mean that I can't have one. Sushila Chandran, I said come back here. Here. Go. Hold your peace while I go fix your screw up. Sushila! What? Whoa, I'm just trying to help. Listen, there are a lot of creeps out there. Granted, your dad doesn't believe me when I tell him I've got a stalker, but it's you, so he probably thinks every guy is a creep or a stalker. It's just dads. But I can't be asking him every day if my clothes are acceptable. That's true. So, Auntie Minnie is going to teach you how to beat the wardrobe Nazi. Just wear a jacket over your top until you're out of his sight. Cool, but what if, like, I'm wearing shorts? Hey, poet! To you. Where are your shoes? Forget about that. You two need to go back in. Your stalker is taking pictures of you both. I will escort you two ladies back right now. And you can continue this heart to heart in the safety of my living room. What? Nothing. Just waiting for my apology. Fine. You're right. There's a stalker here. And we need to catch him. That's a terrible. Wait, what do you mean we need to catch him? He's not going to be interested in me. If we want him to come out so that we can catch him, we need to bait the hook. You probably need to dress the part a bit though. And what do you suggest I wear? I was thinking something more skimpy. Usually these stalker types are a bit more pervy. And if you really want him to come out, then we need to make it worth his while, right? when your daughter wears a sleeveless top to go out, but you have no problems objectifying me in order to catch a stalker? It's not personal. I'm trying to solve your problem. You want to catch the stalker or not? I refuse to be bait. Good luck, Sushila. Dad! Stop. Home. Mm. I'm actually because you're so stiff. <laughs> okay. So, what are you going to do today? Good morning, Miss Sim. Good morning, Miss Sim. Hello, Mrs. Lin. How can I help you? Well, I know that you've been briefed, but I realize perhaps no one has demonstrated to you how the FMI works. So, just to make sure that you have no problem with it, I thought maybe I could show you how it works. Yes, of course. Please do. This is why you switch it on and always make sure that the mic is facing up and outwards. This area captures the sound, so avoid blocking them. And if you wear layers, the mic will be muffled. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Check, check. I got it. Thank you so much for the demonstration. Thank you, Miss Sim. Thank you. Bye, Hilary. Bye, Mummy. Bye, Miss Sim. Bye-bye. It's spelling today. How's your exercise books down? First word. 
it. Cloudy. him again. We all want what's best for our kids, but different kids have different needs. I'm proud of my Ada, but without help, she won't have the equal opportunity to succeed. Let not the Adas fall through the cracks. Enough of elitism. No child left behind. We are being overrun by people who think they are smarter than us, people who think they can make decisions for us. We don't want same old, same old. The system is broken. We want someone on the outside to call it as it is. Jennifer, 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 Jennifer. These are really great ideas, Jen. Thanks. I thought I'd hit the ground running. Dude, what do you think? Huh? Oh, are you okay? You seem distracted. Are you still worried about the Robert thing? Yeah, um, Tony Ming called uh, to ask whether I've decided if I should take them on as my client or not. Have you talked to Reza about it yet? No. He's uh, busy with work. Plus, you know, I think I'm just overthinking things. So anyway, Jen, you need to hand out leaflets with these programs. You promised them a detailed manifesto. You promised that. I just want to be PTA president. <laughs> Mrs. Koh, MOE mandates that teachers must utilize the FM microphone when there is a hearing impaired child in the classroom. Mrs. Lian, Ms. Sim has already been briefed about Hillary's condition. She defied me. I demonstrated the use of the mic to her, and yet she didn't use it right after I left. Mrs. Lian, unfortunately, this matter does not warrant such strong intervention. At Charleston, we encourage parents and teachers to build rapport to achieve common interests. Perhaps you might want to speak to Miss Sim about this. Okay. I think I can find a way to make sure we build rapport. Hello. Have a good day. Vote for Jennifer Tan. Hello, vote for Jennifer Tan. Hey, Jennifer. Hello. Have you heard the latest news? Chilean is back in the race again. Well, what are you talking about? And I've heard that her campaign slogan is Make Charleston Greater. Now that's a campaign I can get behind. I wonder what prompted her change of heart. It must be important. She'll walk right into the job. She's the obvious choice, not necessarily the right choice. Min, I can't beat her. This is Che Lian, uber mom, two-time PTA president. But you're not doing this to beat her. Remember, you're doing this for someone you care about. You're right, Min. I'm doing this for the eighties of the world. That's right. Ungifted, the ordinary, the late bloomers. And we're right there behind you. Right, Dorani? Sure. Sushila, hi. Hi, Auntie Minnie. I have to tell you something. What? You have to agree to Dad's plan, please. Why? What happened? He's taken everything that's not got long sleeves and a hemline below the knees and locked it all up. Please, Auntie Minnie, I can't go through life looking like this.
He'll be here soon. I can feel it. This task is going to be easy. Trust me. I'll be there. I think he's coming out today. Oh. Or maybe the bait wasn't tasty enough. Oh. I need to soak my feet. I don't think he's a stalker, more like a private investigator. The question is, what do you have a PI taking photos of you? Well, if you had caught him, we could have asked him. These are the kind of pictures people take when they suspect someone is a mistress. Really? We were just starting to get along. Do you want another bag of peas? Uh, no, uh, um, this is enough. Tony Meng has discharged the firm from representing his company. He's not my client. Don't play coy with me! You know the moment you poach Cito Logistic from us, it's tantamount to a declaration of war. Now, you're asking for it. Get out of my property, you're trespassing! I'm gonna destroy you, Durani. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Reza, good. Why not talk some sense into your wife about taking on someone that's bigger than you? More resources than you, and more money than you, is suicide. You hurt my wife. You are trespassing. I always suspected that you were anywhere depends in the relationship. Yes, I'm right. Don't make me add assault to the list. This is not over yet, Durani. this off my father cup. I've been compromised now. I don't think I can carry on anymore. But I will send Darren my view.
why didn't you say something about this? Sayang, I really tried to. I wanted to, but there just never seemed to be a good time. I wanted to tell you the other day, but we got into a big fight about that stupid woman, and then I was angry with you, and then you ignored me at dinner. This was important. You should have told me about it. And I should have told you that I was working on a project with Colonel Hussein. Sayang, I need you to know something. You and Nabila are the most important people in my life. No one else. And when it matters, I will always be here. Only three of you, 95%. The rest of you, clearly not that clever. So I'm going to have to resort to drastic measures. Those of you who scored below 90%, you will be joining my special recess club today. Yes? Why is recess club missing? <laughs> Sit down. Recess Club is my special club for children who need extra attention, guidance and discipline. So instead of wasting time at recess, <laughs> you'll be doing extra worksheets. You wanted to talk? I wanted to suggest that you get out of the race. You're putting a lot of energy into this, and that's admirable. But you could have spent that time with your daughter. Like you said, it's time for new blood. And this is for my daughter. You've already been the PTA president for the past few years now anyways. My work on the PTA is not done yet. I'm willing to compromise. Formally support my plans to add more programs for the academically weaker, and I'll drop out. I will not make promises that I don't know if I can keep. Anyway, whether you're in this race or not makes no difference to me. Because I will win. I guess word is out, Chevin is running. Well, voting isn't for another week, so I'm sure there are still lots of fence sitters. Oh, look, Robert doesn't waste any time. I'm here to serve a summons for... I'm right here, you can pass it to me. Hominy? Are you Hominy? You've been served. What? Yeah. 